these guys are lying. And they've been lying for years and they continue to get away with it. And they've made millions, maybe billions from this. And so in this video, I'd like to dispel one of the biggest nutritional myths out there. That a calorie is a calorie. That all calories are created equal. Because people everywhere are destroying their metabolic health in their attempt to lose weight and get healthy. All because they believe the calories in, calories out fallacy. Now, even if you already recognize the inadequacies of calories, I urge you to watch this whole video right the way through. It's very short, and by watching this whole video, you help to increase its reach and get it pushed out to more people who may be in the dark about calories. And I'm going to be using a very simple example. So this is the perfect video to send to a friend or co-worker who's been struggling to lose weight and get healthy and just doesn't ever see any results. Please also give this important video a boost by clicking like and subscribe. Thank you and let's get into it. For years, we've been told if we want to get healthy and lose weight, all we need to do is eat less and move more. It's that simple, right? If you're fat, it's your fault. At least, that's what they want you to believe, because then they can continue to market solutions to you. If you believe that being healthy is just a matter of eating less and moving more, then you need some tools to keep track of this to make sure that you stick with it. A calorie tracking app. An app to track your macros. A coach to keep you on the right track with your diet. A personal trainer to show you which exercises to do. A gym membership so you've got the right equipment. A diet program to simplify your eating because tracking everything is just too complicated. Customized foods produced by the diet program companies so that you can be guaranteed you're eating the meals they want you to eat. And on and on. And eat less and move more can be summed up very simply as energy in, energy out. Or calories in, calories out. And this brings us to the real problem. We've been conditioned to measure all food in the same way. That 100 calories of candy is the same as 100 calories of lettuce is the same as 100 calories of steak. So I thought, why not compare them? Although, I thought rather than candy, why not use something that's more likely to be found in the home? An item that parents are likely to condone their children eating. And so, let's compare breakfast cereal to steak. For cereal, let's take fruity pebbles, for example. This is how it's produced. First, bucket loads of rice are pumped into an oven, along with water, salt, and delicious-looking colors. After it's cooked, the rice comes out looking beautifully radioactive. The moisture in the rice is then removed. The rice is then flattened into flakes and finally puffed up by removing the last of the moisture. It's then spun and liquid sugar is added. And we're done! Now we didn't see the entire process here because there are more ingredients that haven't been talked about. Here's the nutrition label from the Fruity Pebbles website. We can see the main ingredient is rice, followed by sugar and canola oil. There are additional ingredients, but let's stop here for the moment. The worst things you can be putting in your body are sugars and seed oils. Both of these things damage the cells in your body and lead to inflammation and diseases like type 2 diabetes. And if you haven't thought much about canola oil, imagine this. Oil gets extracted from canola seeds or rape seeds. This is a process which involves washing the oil in hexane, a petroleum byproduct, and bleaching it to make it smell less bad. Look at the byproduct of producing canola oil. So rice, sugar, canola oil, and all the other additives go into producing Fruity Pebbles cereal. Let's now look at the ingredients in steak. So accepting the theory that all calories or energy is the same requires you to accept that fruity pebbles are treated exactly the same way in your body as steak is. That a 100% manufactured product is treated exactly the same way as a natural product. And do you really think that's the case? And to add insult to injury, just look at how calories are measured. 
by putting food into a machine that's filled with water and blowing up the food. That's right, exploding the food. The resultant temperature change in the water tells the scientist how many calories are in the food. This is a great way to measure the relative energy between foods. Only one problem. Your body doesn't work this way. Your body doesn't explode the food after you eat it. It's similar to running a mile and then having the person holding the stopwatch say, congratulations, you ran the distance of two deck chairs and a bed. Maybe if those items are broken down into pieces and laid side by side, but break them into pieces and they cease to function as deck chairs or a bed. So it's not the same thing. So you might say, on the regular, I eat 100 calories of fruity pebbles in a day. I'm going to cut down to 50 calories a day and I'll lose weight. And you very well might lose weight. But cutting down the amount you eat is going to signal to your body that you are going into a starvation period and your body may slow your metabolism down, which then makes it harder to lose weight and also makes it more likely that you are going to binge on something. And if you've listened to this and you're an anti-meat plant-based person and you're totally against the idea of steak, no problem. Replace steak with your favorite vegetable. The comparison still works. Calories are BS. Calories are nothing more than a marketing tool. If they make it easy for you to compare foods on one single metric, such as calories, then they can make highly palatable foods with lower calories and you're going to lap it up. It doesn't mean your body will. And this makes three things. Makes you fat, makes you sick, makes them money. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.